Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to chapter 5 vectors. In this video, we will proceed with 5.3 vector product part B. Use the properties of vector product. If A and B are two non-zero vectors and M is a scalar, then when A cross A by vector product definition, it's going to be magnitude A times magnitude A times sine 0. So we know that sine 0 equal with 0. So the whole thing will be equal to 0 vector. Or we can have it 0i plus 0j plus 0k. Number 2, a cross b equal to negative b cross a. Where we know that vector product is not commutative as direction is important in vector product. Number 3, a scalar multiply with the vector product. Number 4 and 5 by distributive properties. Number 6 and 7, combination of dot product and vector product. And number 8, the most important properties by A parallel to B. We're going to have A cross B equal to 0. By now, you should know that the properties for two vectors are parallel or perpendicular. You need to apply these properties in order to show two vectors are perpendicular or parallel or to find an unknown by knowing that the two vectors are perpendicular or parallel. So now let's apply what we have learned in solving few examples. Example 9a. By given three vectors, find a cross b, hence evaluate these following parts. So first of all, you have to find the a cross b. By the expansion of determinant, for the i component, we're going to have 10 plus 9. For the j component, we're going to have 5 minus 6. And for the k component, we're going to have negative 3 minus 4. So your product will be equal to 19i plus j minus 7k. Okay, now, to evaluate part A, by using the properties number 2, b cross a equal with negative a cross b. So we just have to put the negative sign into the product of a cross b. So we can have negative 19i minus j plus 7k. Part b, a dot a cross b. By properties number 6, we can simplify it to b, a cross a dot with b. And by properties number 1, we know that a cross a equal with 0. So 0 dot b, literally we get 0 vector. Part C, a dot b cross c by properties number 6 as well. We can simplify it to be a cross b dot c. So we know that the vector for a cross b and vector for c. So by the dot product, we can have it by column matrix form. We're going to have end up with 19 plus 3 plus 14 equal with 36. Then the last part, part D. A plus B cross B minus A by using the distributive properties. So we're going to have A cross B plus B cross B 
plus e cross negative e plus b cross negative e. Then we can take out the negative sign. And we know that by properties number 1, B cross B and A cross A will be end up with equal to 0. So we're going to have A cross B minus B cross A. And we can change B cross A to be negative A cross B. So simplify, we're going to have twice of A cross B. So we just have 2 times 2 with the vector of A cross B. So we end up 38i plus 2j minus 14k. Okay, next example. Given two vectors, by using the vector product, show that A and B are parallel. So we know that properties are number 8. A parallel to B, it means A cross B equal with 0. So you have to find the vector product A and B by expansion of determinant. For the i component, we have 12 minus 12. For the g component, we're going to have negative 24 plus 24. And then for the k component, we can have 6 minus 6. So in that we have zero vector. So you need to put the conclusion since A cross B equal with zero. A is parallel to B. So that's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.